At this time, I would like to invite 30 very talented seniors to get ready for their musical number over here. And as they get ready, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Jen Blake, Liz Pomeroy, and Wendy Leone for all their hard work and efforts for not only helping to make tonight possible, but for all their dedication throughout the years for this class. It is very much appreciated. So as this large group gets ready to perform their musical number, I would like to invite up our senior speaker that was selected by not only staff but students to address you before the musical selection. It's Nick Ponce. Come on up, Nick. I am Ponce. In this room, there are adults who don't know who I am. So for the record, I bake cookies and wear the color blue. <laughs> for the rest of you, you've been waiting. Now, it's time. Pond speech, part two. The whoop de doo kids are getting acknowledged for their scholarships. But for the rest of us, without any achievements, I've got a speech for you. And in the spirit of the class of 2015, it starts with me complaining. I think I speak for everyone when I say I have absolutely no positive memories of my years in Hopkinton. We've had to suffer through mon monotonous classes with teachers who clearly don't care. Looking at you, Mr. Sullivan, <laughs> Mr. Pominaville, Mr. Hanna, and Mr. Bishop denied us our freedom and ruled with an iron fist. We've had senior privileges which, while they allowed us to supplement our Calc homework with Chipotle, they were discrimination against the other grades and we don't put up with that here in Hopkinton. Parents, this ought to show how agonizing growing up in Hopkinton has really been. But don't forget, you did this to us. <laughs> Class of 2015, we don't have to put up with this anymore. We're free. That's right, the tough Hopkinton part of your life is over, and it's going to be a cakewalk from here on out. <laughs> Trust me, I'm Ponce. Look, despite what you all hope, I'm not allowed to talk forever. And I do have a very specific agenda in mind. Specifically, to do something I truly enjoy doing, which is to brag about how awesome my life is. So to get started on that, it's time for a little thing called story time with Ponce. You're back in eighth grade, only you aren't you, you're me. Now, to be Ponce means you aren't big on conversations. You got a lunch table all to yourself, and happiness is a bowl of ramen noodles. The loner life is unfortunately real. But then, you move to the place where the marathon starts. You still don't talk much, but people here, they're different. Years pass, some things happen. By the end of the senior year, you've dressed up in Santa suits and become the cookie monster. You wake up every day and go to school, not because you have to, but because you're looking forward to what's ahead. Story over. Parents, you proud of your kids? Because they're the real MVPs of that story. I'm taking the senior recognition night literally. I've told them how amazing they are to their faces before, but you ought to hear it too. They ought to hear it twice. I'm not saying they're flawless, but they've never stopped being friendly. So from my perspective, they're basically perfect. Your kids believe that being your own person and being interesting are just as important as being good looking and being for the boys. Okay. Gotten a lot in common. One, we're all going to UMass Amherst. Two, <laughs> two, we're all sleep deprived. And you know why that is? It's because we recognize that sleep deprivation is for winners. <laughs> With six hours of sleep, comes tons of, uh, tons of extra time for ambition, which promptly used to watch Parks and Rec on Netflix. But that's besides the point. Class of 2015, every single page of homework you've done since preschool has been building up to this Friday. My friends, we've reached the end of an era. Never forget, you are unique, just like everybody else. You won the genetic lottery by getting to grow up in Hopkinton, but your fortune doesn't even end there. I mean, 
you get to make the future. I mean, we already live in a world where there's this magical little box in your pocket that contains most of the world knowledge and also allows you to Snapchat right before you play Flappy Bird. So can you even imagine what the future is like? Your kids might not have to take TDA because your car drives itself. <laughs> Diseases are getting cured, robots are becoming smarter than Shanker, and you will <laughs> be able to 3D print waffles. So anyways, we all get to be grateful about life. And I guess that's what this speech was really meant to be about. Whether you're looking back at your life in Hopkinton, or you're looking at what's coming ahead, we've all got things in common we gotta be thankful for. I'm not saying the pa past was perfect for any of us. The future won't be either, I guarantee it. But both have a whole lot going for them. This is the last time I'll get to talk to you for a very long time, till grad parties this Saturday. <laughs> but one last heartfelt thank you. I don't know if I can put into words how grateful I am for the bond I share with you all, but I'll try. We are no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. I'm never going to give you up, never going to let you down, never going to run around and desert you, never going to make you cry, never going to say goodbye, never going to tell a lie and hurt you. I, I think that covers it. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, one last time, take me seriously. So my life is what it is today because of you. And no amount of cookies or speeches or praise could possibly make us even. So there you go, guys. Welcome to the future. My name is Nicholas Fonts. I love you all, and have a nice day.